And that's one of the things you do. You have this kind of, um, you draw parallels between the refugee experience and the ex-con experience. You know, he's he, he's 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 in a community he doesn't recognize anymore. Um, the landscape has changed. He's not um, almost doesn't get the same level of, of respect from everyone on a on that level. But then has this through a, an act of kindness from his his syrian refugee neighbor who's a taxi driver that that kind of friendship blossoms so um those parallels and those touch points between those two experiences uh how did you kind of uh, come up with those to to kind of uh, spin those characters in that dual narrative i guess it's a great question because you know uh what, as soon as we decided we were going to take this route with uh, the syrian narrative um i contacted a friend who worked for an association for new canadians and he put me in touch with, um, his name is Ken Walsh, and then he put me in touch with a, a Syrian Newfoundlander named Iyad Sakar. And he uh, he had a documentary, a female film, filmmaker named Mira Hamour. And then I just consulted with these uh, these two, you know, Syrian Canadian friends uh, who, who became really close friends. And we just went to these neighborhoods and we met a lot of people like Mo and and found these real life stories that were happening in these low income neighborhoods. Like the when you watch those scenes, like the Syrian birthday party, a lot of those people in those scenes really lived there. Like we didn't just put Middle Eastern people in low income Newfoundland neighborhoods. Like they, they are there. And, uh, and those, those friendship stories are real. So, you know, I think when you make anything, you've got to believe, you got to believe it. And, and I had to know that it was real in order to believe it. So, yeah. So I, a lot of it was just going to these, um, to this one or two neighborhoods in St. John's over and over again and and just hearing these real life stories from people and, and getting inspired and getting excited by um, this new Newfoundland that we wanted to show off. Yeah. Um one of the one of the scenes that um off off the back of that where um Billy and his son get invited to um, Mo's home, to his family, and they try in Syrian food for the first time. Is there a really funny line where he's like, "Is that like Korean food?" <laughs> but oh. the, it's a it's a very fun, positive scene where they're kind of like, "Oh, trying all these this new cuisine and kind of loving it." That's that's a hundred percent Iyad, uh, my the script consultant on the film. Uh, when he and I were going through the script, uh, it was curry because because when he first moved to Newfoundland, he said. Uh, he said, Nick, there's one thing when I first moved here, every time I would try to prepare some Middle Eastern food, New Flanders would always go, what's that, like curry or something? And, and, uh, <laughs> and I thought, and I laughed so hard. I was like, oh my God, that is going in. Like, so, and then it, it gets probably one of the bigger laughs of the film. And, uh, but yeah, I think that's because it's, it's real. And then I've, we double yeah. up on it, of course, as you know, uh, in the later scene where, and it's true because, you know, you, you stop any, any Newfoundlander and ask them uh, what's, what's Syrian food and they might think it's curry, but no, but no, uh, but just to go back to that, I mean, uh, you know, the boy who plays, uh, who plays the son of Mo, um, Hamza, uh, his, his, he's really a refugee from, uh, from Syria. And I met his family and I, I sat on those cushions in, in the, in the room and his mother owns a Syrian, um, a Syrian restaurant at the St. John's farmer's market. So all that food in that scene was prepared by her and we had sat in those living rooms and talked to these people before months before we shot the film. So I felt like we did every bit of prep we possibly could. And we made sure that we were like accurate within that because, you know, there's, there's Arabic speaking scenes in this film and that's where, uh, yeah. you know, and I, I don't speak Arabic. And uh, so we had to make sure that we had Mira, uh, that documentary filmmaker, Mira Hamour, she came on for those scenes and made sure that, you know, that, that the dialogue was right and we got everything right. And it was, there was a real, great communication between everybody uh, making those scenes and writing that dialogue. 